you, yeah. you, have, you have to set interval from when it first checks to the second check to be much, much longer. Because JD has to walk. Yeah, and yeah. you go way, way slower. And same with the hexapod. You'd have to crawl, check, crawl, check, crawl, check. Yeah. But it's just a, it's a very easy timing variable to set. But as you can see... Yeah, when it, it, it adjusts. Pretty fun to play with. What would happen if I put my hand in front of the sensor while it's trying to figure out? If you put your hand in front of it, uh, yeah, right like now while it's moving. Right now it'll it'll keep moving and it'll start looking for the object. But you could try it. Go up and put your hand in front of it. Ah, I can't hold on. It'll just freak out. No, it just but it fa it found it anyway. It did, it did a spin, but then it got. Yeah. Away. Okay. Let me just bring it over here. Yeah. Try to put it right back here. So. Okay, I'll come, I'll, I'll start over it's here. It's actually tough because it keeps adjusting itself, so I can't <laughs> smoothly. Okay, I'll bring it over to you over here. Okay, there. <laughs> so it's panicking, panic mode. Yeah, it's It'll just, just like, keep uh, spinning. Uh, and that's uh, just because it's searching for... It's searching for the IR LED. And then it gets back, yeah. But it, it won't, uh, it'll just keep circling around until... It, it finds it again. Finds it. Yeah. yeah, that's good. But it won't run away, which is the good news. So it won't, dis it won't <laughs> so, disappear. So you, so you set it once it moved. <clears throat> maybe that was just a byproduct of the programming. It won't continue on straight and keep trying to find itself. Exactly. Yeah. It will keep spinning until it finds itself. That's good. It stays in one area. <laughs> what does it do when you first turn it on? It needs to calibrate its direction. So if I, if I just drive the robot manually here, you make it drive forward just to here. And I'll push this reset button mm -hmm. on the screen. That resets its calibration value. So now it doesn't have any idea of what the turn speed is. So if I specify an area, say right here, you're gonna watch the robot drive forward, turn, drive forward, and turn a couple times. And that is gonna use this direction to figure out how many degrees it turns per second. So watch. So now it goes calibration mode before it goes to the square. Turn. Go, turn, go. So now it has an idea of how many degrees per millisecond it turns. That way the speed of the wheels doesn't actually matter. So yeah, it knows the speed in which the robot's gonna move. Yeah. So if I select over here, it has to turn to get to it. It needs to know how many milliseconds to turn yeah. to face that object. And once it, it doesn't have to know exactly, it just has to get a good idea. Yeah. Does it get more accurate over time? It does, because it keeps learning as it turns. So that's why when you, when you first came in here and you were playing with it, it was super, super accurate to be able to turn right yeah. around. And now it's like dick, 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 dick. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That also means that even if one of the wheels starts to slow for some reason or it gets caught up on something, it'll be able to figure itself out. Yeah, because right? I like, can take the IPS it's gonna go, that's not right. and I can move it. I can move it so it's facing like say over here, right? Uh -huh. And then I'll select an area of the screen, say here. Yeah, that's like a different 2D map. Totally different map, but I can also take the camera and move it around. And the robot will try to compensate for it. See that? Yeah. It'll still reach that point though. Isn't that bad? Whatever works, right? Yeah. 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 So is the robot grabbing the position from the infrared camera but it based on the brightness of the pixel? No, so what it's doing is it takes a position uh, on, so imagine the black screen is a 2D plane. You got your Y axis and your X axis, right? Right. So it gets it, say it was in the dead center, that's where it gets it, so it logs zero, zero. Then it turns it a, hurt a certain amount, drives forward, and then logs that new position and goes, okay, that was this direction this many degrees, right? Oh, no, 360 degrees. Then it would turn it again, drive it forward again, and go, okay, that was this direction. So it, okay. it logs at certain points. 